We're gonna tell you how to make your content searchable and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Today I am here with Andrew Can. If you watch my channel for any amount of time, you're probably familiar with TubeBuddy. Andrew is from TubeBuddy and a lot of people think that, you know, hey, Andrew is the TubeBuddy guy. But in addition to TubeBuddy, Andrew is a creator himself. Andrew makes videos himself. He actually has a filmmaking background. And because of that, we're actually going to share with you tactics that he uses and that he's used on other channels as well to actually make content searchable. Andrew, first, it's an honor to meet you Same. in person. This is fantastic. And I'm really happy to have you on the channel. So happy to be here. I We've worked together now for four months. And this is our first time actually getting to meet. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been fantastic. And it's awesome getting to know you. Same. Yeah, nice. So so as far as making content searchable, what, what kind of tips do you have? So a lot of times when people are looking to make content searchable, they, they skip out on the most important step. You need to think how you search. That sounds <laughs> super simple, but it's constantly overlooked. When people type in anything, it's not one word. It's not one tag. For example, if I'm wanting to learn how to install a ceiling fan, I'm not going to just type in ceiling fan. Right. I'm going to type in how to install a ceiling fan. And that leads to a more specific search phrase. That's something you always preach about and it's so true. So what I do is I use film and I create films all the time. People always say to me, well, film's not searchable. That's not true. You have to find ways to make it searchable. Right. So I created a short film called Lori's Legacy and it's about my mom and it's about my dealing with her and her past and just in general. So I knew that that's very hard to make searchable, but the process of making that film, how I did it, I typed in for a very specific tag, 4K mini documentary. I shot the film in 4K, it's a documentary, and there were, I looked using TubeBuddy, you can see how relevant that is to the video and in search. So I saw that it was being searched a lot, but had very low competition. So I thought, okay, this is a high quality product, it's in 4K, and it fits the search. So I put that in and it's ranking number one. It nice. beat out the larger guys because it does not matter if the quality is good. It had high watch time, which the algorithm rewards. So it was able to rank higher in search than other videos because not only was it good quality, but it also had long watch time, which are two things you always preach about. And it's true. Now I learned that from all the streamers on TubeBuddy, but Nick really brings it home. Thank you. And, and one thing I want to mention too, like in addition to being a filmmaker, to, to, to being a part of TubeBuddy, you're also YouTube certified. Yes, I am. Yeah. I went ahead and did all the courses and yeah. Yeah, so, so in addition, you know, the information that he's sharing right now, in addition to what he's doing personally, what he does, you know, on the TubeBuddy channel and all that stuff, like working with other people, like using the tactics that he's talking about, you know, this is a broad thing that works across all channels. Yes, exactly. So I've worked with cooking channels. I have worked with do DIY channels. I've worked with education channels, two buddies, mainly how to teach people how to grow on YouTube, similar to what you do. I've worked with a lot of channels. And one thing that I find people aren't doing is they're not optimizing for search because they don't think they're searchable, but they give up because their first initial term doesn't rank. You gotta keep going. If you gave up after the first video wasn't successful, you wouldn't have had a channel, am I right, right? Right, absolutely. So you have to go. I often joke it's Andrew Can, not Andrew Can't. So if I'm spending <laughs> if I'm spending multiple videos with different search terms, but if I have tried 13 terms with the 14th ranks, that's important because you put in all the time editing the video, you put all the time pre presenting and giving it on all the social medias, but if you don't put in the back end work, you, you have to think of tags, titles, descriptions as your foundation. Without it, you're building a house with no foundation and it's going to fall. Yeah, excellent, excellent tip. So as far as making content searchable, mm -hmm. right? Because because what you're talking about is basically you're you're talking about hunting down a term. Like, yes. you know, hey, well, I'm breaking out the magnifying glass. I'm going to work on this until I find a term that fits. Yes. Right? Now, as far as actually ranking the video itself, once you have the actual term that you're going for, what tips do you have for actually ranking the video itself? So I use a lot of tools like similar to you. I use TubeBuddy. And with TubeBuddy, I can see what other people are searching within that niche. So for example, I'll use my film again. I use 4K mini documentary. That led me to a search term that I thought about, what about mini documentary? That is very true. And sure enough, not a lot of people were using that term. They were using short film documentary, but not mini documentary. And it's the same thing, but in a different way. You'd be so surprised how many search terms there are 
rephrased slightly. And, and you can see that, you know, like with the uh, keyword suggestion tool, mm -hmm. like that just opens your eyes to so much to where you're thinking like, wow, I didn't even, I, I would have never thought of that in a million years because of exactly what you're talking about as far as, you know, the different ways that people search for things, the different language they might use to search for something. Uh, I mean, that's that's huge. Power and if, tip. If I, could, if I could drive one point home, you need to tag as you search. It's something I preach, it's something I always say because so many people are like, well, what if people don't search the way I search? If you thought of it, and if you had that question, I am sure you are not the first, and I'm sure you're not the last. Yeah, and, and when you have that base point to start with, then you can try to optimize your stuff around it, see what, what, what TubeBuddy actually suggests, mm -hmm. you know, around that term and things like that, absolutely. Do you have, do you have any other additional tips as far as, as far as making a video searchable like that? Of course, follow Nick yeah. Nimmin on all social medias and you can easily learn how to optimize your videos. I think you've done nice. enough, but in all seriousness, <laughs> another tip is put yourself or a face in the thumbnail. A lot of people don't understand this, but this was confirmed Power at, tip coming at up. YouTube at VidCon it was confirmed by them that thumbnails with faces in them do better. Now make it relevant and make it honest with the video because if not, that can count as spam. But as long as it's honest and relevant to the video, it ranks higher in search, it does better in the long run, and it shows your audience a little bit of what they're getting into. You may notice that when YouTube auto does thumbnails, they always search for faces. That's not random, it's on purpose. Would you rather let an algorithm decide or you decide? Right. I'll right. leave it to that. Right. Excellent. So if somebody wants to find out more about you, they want to watch the film the film channel that you're talking about, they want to they want to learn more about you as Andrew the person. <laughs> where, where where do they find you? You can find me at youtubecom K. You can find me on Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook at Andrew Can Film. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on, man. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure that you head over to Andrew's channel and you subscribe to him right now. Make sure that you go check out his videos and you know, he makes awesome stuff. So make sure that you go over there and, and check out Andrew. I'm going to put a card to him somewhere at the top of the screen. And if you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Can with a K. <laughs> <laughs>